Okay, morning. Um, we are just going to look at reverse area and perimeter today. So um, if you're ready to move on to this, then here we go. Um, so you'll recall from all of our work we've been doing that area is the space inside the shape and the perimeter is the distance around the outside. Okay, now don't forget, obviously, when you're doing area, um, there are different um, formulae for different shapes. So if it's a rectangle, you do base times height or length times width. Um, a triangle, base times height divided by two. A square, obviously, is just base times height. A parallelogram, base times vertical height, etc., etc. Okay. Um, whereas perimeter, you're just adding all the sides as you go along. Okay. Right. So let's go kick off with an example. Um, so I've got a rectangle here, and it says find the length of the rectangle if the perimeter is 30 centimeters. Okay. So we know this side is four centimeters, which means this side must be four centimeters. Um, we've got to find these two missing lengths. Okay. You can call them x if you want. You can call them whatever you like. So, if we add our 4 and our 4, that gives us bits of our perimeter. That gives us our perimeter um, down both widths of the rectangle. Okay, so we know that that bit has a total of 8, which means our remaining bits, our lengths, must make up the rest of it to make it up to 30. So we've done those two bits, these two blue bits here. But they are both 8 centimetres in total. And our perimeter is 30. So what we're going to do is we're going to do 30, take away 8, which leaves us with 22. So that means that these green bits here, they must be a total of 22. So how do I get what one of them is? I divide it by two to make 11 centimeters. Okay, right, similarly, number two, uh, we've got a square. How do I know it's a square? Well, these lines on here mean that all of these sides are the same length, so that makes it a square. And you've been told that the perimeter is 48 meters. So that means that a combination of all of these sides added together makes 48 metres. If they're all the same length, how do we get what one length is? We divide it by four because there's four sides. And so we get each side is 12 metres. It's metres because the original was in metres. Okay? Because if I did 12 at 12 at 12 at 12, I would get 48. Okay? And the last one for perimeter, um, we've got a triangle here. Um, not, not a specific kind of triangle, just a triangle. And it, it says that the perimeter is 37 metres. Calculate the missing side. Okay, so, so far, we've got that this is 9 and this is 13. So, what have we got in total? Well, 13 plus 9 makes 22. And the whole thing's got to add to 37. So, to find out the missing side, I can just do 37, take away uh, 22, and I get 15. Okay, right, let's move on to area then. Um, here we go, we're going to do an area for rectangle, square, triangle and parallelogram. Okay, so area probably a little bit easier. So here we go for the first question. We've got a rectangle and it says that the area is 26 centimetres squared. How do you find the area of a rectangle? Area of a rectangle is just length times width or base times height, whatever you want to call it. Okay, length times width. So we've got the width. The width is 2, and then we just need to find this missing length. You might want to call it x. Okay. So what I'm saying is 2 times something gives you 26. So to find that, obviously we do the opposite. We divide by 2, 26 divided by 2, and you get 13. So if that length is 13, 13 times 2 gives you 26 happy days. So the answer, 13. Okay. A square makes it slightly harder. So again, we know it's a square because it's got these lines on them. Okay, which mean all of these sides are the same. And it says the area is 64 centimetres squared. What this is saying is I've got a different A number here and I times it by the same number and I get 64. If I'm timesing a number by itself, that is the same as squaring that number. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. So in order to find the missing length here, I need to do the opposite of squaring and that is to square root. So I'm going to square root 64. What that is asking is, what do I have to times by itself to give you 64? So something times itself gives you 64. And the answer is 8. So the length of each side is 8. Okay. Right, question 3 is slightly trickier. So let's get, give this one a go. Okay, we've got a triangle here. How do you find the area of a triangle? Well, hopefully you can remember that the area of a triangle, if you can't, by the way, you need to go back and look at re look over area. Okay. Area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2. 
Okay, so what we're saying is, I did the base, which is 20, uh, 10, sorry. I did 10 times something, I divided it by 2, and I got 80. Okay, so I've got to work backwards. So what's the opposite of dividing by 2? Is to times by 2. So if I do 80 times 2 to start with, I get 160. So I'm saying 10 times something is 160. How do I get the something? I divide by 10. So 160 divided by 10 is 16 centimetres. So that there must be 16 centimetres, because if I do six base times height, which is how I do the over triangle base times height is 160 divided by 2 makes 80. Okay? Right, error of a parallelogram. This is a parallelogram now. Don't forget the error of a parallelogram is the base times the vertical height, okay? This is what I mean by the base, and that is the vertical height, okay? So we've been told that the um, area is 42, so to get what the base is, I'm just gonna do 42 divided by the vertical height. So then I'm gonna do 42 divided by six, which makes seven, okay? That is reverse area and perimeter of these basic shapes.